emojis in the chat, pimps. Grind emojis for our boy Phil. And all those dishonest people out there that made bounties and did not live up to their promises. You're breaking the law. You're breaking the law. Oh my lord. What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is uh, Phil's daily rap after his disastrous Warzone stream where uh, our boy Phil was just trolled non-stop yesterday. He didn't have any moderators, which made it even funnier. Uh, but, you know, a few people came in. I'm not going to mention <laughs> names and made promises and bounties. It's particularly one person who uh, made a offer of $2 per kill, even Gulag kills throughout the whole game. So if you got 50 kills, you would give Phil 100 bucks. Uh, and apparently Phil got probably 23, 24. I, I don't know. I don't remember what it was. I just threw out a random number. And uh, offered to give him a tip at the end of the night. And Phil was dying and waiting for it the whole night. You could see him on there. He's like, oh my God, I'm going to get them $52. Oh my God, I'm going to get those $52. And it didn't happen. Our boy felt very sad. So in this video, our boy continues his rant about dishonest people. <laughs> oh my Lord. Let's go. Tonight's late stream was Warzone. Now, tonight's Warzone stream was very, very, very interesting because we had more attention on the stream than usual because a few days ago when I played it last, I did terribly. I didn't even make anywhere near a top 10 placing, which is my goal every time that I play. Um, I didn't make any bounties. I hit nothing. Basically, it was a very bad night for me. Even though, I'll be honest, people were very supportive regardless. I think I still had to hit the tier 1 tips goal last time around um, despite the fact that I had a poor performance. So tonight... Really what I wanted to do was redeem myself. I wanted to work as hard as I could for good luck You know, let me get the good drops. Let me get the good placements. Let me get the good, you know Let me get good connections and the firefights and all that and you know, I'll say for the most part That's exactly what happened tonight. Ladies and gentlemen tonight was one of my best Warzone streams ever So if you missed it, you're missing out. Check out the videos when they go live overnight. I Think tonight was the best placings I've ever had overall. I'm not gonna spoil because I know a lot of people are wondering, gee, if he'll get his second win or not. I'm not going to spoil it. All I will say is overall, if you look at my overall placings, the best overall placings, you know, that I've had in one night and, and the most de kills I've ever had. I almost said deaths. The most kills I've ever had. And the thing is, I played very few matches. Hint, hint. If that's not enough of a hint to let you know how I did tonight, I played very few matches. I think I, I at most I played five, but I think I might have only played four. Um... And I got a ton of kills. One match was a crazy kill streak. It was just like, wow, wiping them out. So, give the videos a look. Let me know what you think. I feel like every time I play this game, I'm getting better and better. Uh, I even have an idea for a, a, an interesting YouTube short that I could do. But I need the videos to process overnight and everything before I can make a short out of anything. So, we'll see. But let me know your thoughts. Um, if you like those videos, please, by all means, like them, leave comments on them. If you could support them in other ways, maybe super chats, excuse me, super thanks, or maybe leaving a tip by looking at the description of the video, it would all be appreciated. Uh, so wait a minute, you might be saying, well, wait a minute, Phil, so how did the stream do overall then, this Warzone stream? You, you, if you did really well, then you must have hit bounties or whatever. Well, you're right, and you're right, but there's a caveat to that. First of all, engagement was absolutely great. We had high attendance, high number of likes, and super chats were really good. In fact, someone even gifted a member bomb, and now we're uh, like 518 members. So we gained in one day like 17, 18 members on the channel, which gives us great momentum to try to hit the members goal by the end of this streaming week. So everything was great. Tips, well, a few people tipped before I'd even played, all right, which was nice. And then, based on tonight's performance, if everyone who had laid out a bounty for me, you know, you know went through with that bounty, no exaggeration, it probably would have been the best Warzone night I've ever had. The problem is, what's happening now is you got people coming in the stream who are full of shit and it's happening every time now. So what I'm noticing is someone will come in, it's a name who's not a member, a name that's a brand new account, no, don't know who they are, never heard of them before. Oh, if you make top 10, I'll, I'll do a bounty or whatever. And it's getting sad now because at this point now it's been three streams in a row and I've noticed these last two streams, someone who's very, oh yeah, I wanna, you know, I'm gonna do it. And then they don't, they just disappear. So the funny part about it was there was one person who had said, if you get more than 10 kills, I'm going to give you a, 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 a bounty. And also, if you make top 10. So I did both of those things. And this person literally said, yes, I know I owe you this and this in the chat, and disappeared and never came back. You know? 
completely dishonest. Here's the thing about bounties, because some people are like, why don't you have a bounties leaderboard? And why don't you do this and that? There's absolutely nothing I can do to hold anyone accountable for bounties. Okay? I can't. There's no legal contract between me and the person. It's basically a way to say, hey, listen, I like your content. Let's challenge you to do well. And if you do well, let's reward you. Let's keep that momentum going. I'm thankful that you entertained me. Here you go. That's all it's supposed to be. It's not an actual, oh, <clears throat> I, you know, did this, and now I did, it's not sports betting and shit like that. You guys got to understand that. It's not betting at all. It's not really gambling or wagering. It's if people feel like doing a contribution as a way of saying, hey, thanks for an entertaining night and a great performance tonight, then they do it. And if not, they don't. So I don't have any recourse against people who come to the stream and are completely dishonest, and they're full of it, and they say they're going to do this, and, they, you know, and then it doesn't happen. There's just nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about it besides say, what could you do? So here's the funny part. Then why are you sitting here ranting and raving for nine minutes? Nine minutes and 23 seconds about this bill. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Phil, that I broke the law and did not live up to my promise and give you the 52 bucks and tips. I know you really wanted to wear a hat, Phil. I, I know you did, being that you, your, your One Piece Odyssey stream was 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 bad too in, in tips and you know you needed them hogans I, I understand phil but you gotta understand i'm not i'm not past eric i'm not gonna tip you i'm not gonna give you any money pip and you should have you should have noticed the name why did you notice that name obvious troll name and you even sat there and was thinking about it because you said you couldn't even uh pronounce it but if you clearly look at it <laughs> it was a dick at you it was a dig at you. It was so clearly a dig at you. And yet you you were so fixated on the fact that maybe someone would give you $2 a kill. And you spent your whole night trying to kill people. You just, you just, you went, you didn't plan your game out. You didn't, you know, and you could have won some, some better matches and actually got some smaller bounties if you placed better. If you weren't just sitting there thinking, oh, I gotta, I gotta extend myself and try to get those extra kills so that I can get more money from, uh, for the bounty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Phil. I'm sorry, Phil, that you didn't get a hat, Pam. I'm sorry. Okay. Super chats were great tonight. Tips-wise, I literally made exactly the same amount of tips tonight as I did on Monday when I hit zero bounties. I'm not kidding. It was basically the same. So you gotta wonder, is it gonna be like this from now on? Do I kind of know the baseline performance I'm gonna get on a Warzone stream? Because it seems like you're gonna have people who are gonna be dishonest, right? Now, admittedly, there was someone who's a regular... Who actually, you know, they were anonymous, and they said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a bounty tonight," and I hit it, and then they, they said, "I actually." How are they anonymous and yet a regular? Uh, how, how do you know that that's that person, Phil? Like something happens, I can't do it right now. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I promise. And this is someone who has been very good and has supported the channel, so I'm not upset about that whatsoever. I really do believe this person will, uh, you know, live up to their word. Come tomorrow, I believe them. Maybe it was just something that happened or they couldn't do it tonight for whatever reason. Um, in which case, that will count towards what I did tonight and it'll help a lot, alright? But it is unfortunate that we had a few very dishonest people who were coming in and saying things and then being nasty about it. So it's this simple. From now on, I'm not going to trust anyone who's just a newcomer who I don't know, right? I'm not going to believe that. I'm not even going to shout it out. I'm, sure, I'm really not. There's no point in trying to, like, uh, get people all excited about something that's not going to happen, right? So... <clears throat> The only one excited, Phil, is you, and the only one disappointed is you, because look at that sad face. That is the face of a man that did not collect enough money to play WWE Champions, order some DoorDash, and get some gin last night. That's what it was. So he actually had to turn in early and actually ha maybe have a conversation with his wife and spend some time with her. And, uh, yeah, that, 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 that Phil only spends... A couple hours on his day off with his family. So whenever you make him spend more time outside of that, he's not happy. He look, look at the poor man. Look at him. He's so sad. Anyway, let's keep going. It is what it is. I mean, like I said, in truth, there was probably three or four people who gave bounties that they did not live up to tonight. What are you going to do? I still had a great time. Viewership was great. Engagement was great. Super chats were great. Gifted memberships out the butt. How can I complain? It's not a complaint. It's just a fact that some people are like, oh, how the bounties go? Well... That's how they went. A bunch of dishonest people lying. You know, what can you do? I can't fix that, right? They're going to do what they're going to do. Um, you know, I do hope this one person does come through. Who knows? Maybe more will. As of now, though, my best Warzone night 
yet. So I hope you'll watch the videos, okay? Guys, thank you. That is today. Now, tomorrow, we flip it. Two completely different games. A level one podcast in the morning, followed by the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, which I'm excited for. We've had a lot of fun with this game recently, and I can't wait for more. And then on the late stream, Signalis. All right, so we've got open world, you know, Western RPG questing. And then we've got, with interaction and fun, by the way. And then we got a late night survival horror stream. So it's going to be a good day, all right? Uh, if you're wondering when's the next Warzone or when's the next One Piece, the answer is Saturday on both counts. It's going to be, you know, more One Piece on the daytime stream and more Warzone on the late stream. But starting th uh, Sunday, we flip stuff. Signalis will now be daytime streams. Reason being, I'm going to try to beat Signalis before Dead Space Remake comes out one week from tomorrow. So if I have to start making daytime streams, there's a strong chance, you know, we're about, you know, eight to 10 hours of gameplay over this next week, I will beat the game before, uh, you know, the Dead Space remake comes out. So, that's what we're going to be working towards, okay? All right, everyone. Thanks so very much. Enjoy the videos tonight. Have a good night. See you tomorrow for more variety and fun on the streams. Peace out, and I'll see you in the morning. Later. Alrighty, folks. If you guys enjoy your boy Duty trolling our boy DSP, you know, put a one in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I normally don't go on his streams and troll, but I was a little bored last night, so I figured I'd use one of my old socks and uh, see if I can um, get in there. And big ups to Snore Hogan for running uh, running ops for me <laughs> during this uh, little session. Big ups, Snore, you know I love you, Pip. Alright, fellas, peace out.